everyone in the previous video we have seen socket class and an example of socket class today we are going for server socket a class for server according to official documentation of java server socket is a class that waits for request to come in over the network server socket has several constructors in order to create objects of themselves first one is public server socket argument is integer port and you will need to handle io exception this constructor creates server socket that is bound to specified port for listening to that port second one is public server socket integer port integer backlog throws io exception backlog is maximum length of queue of incoming connections means it specifies maximum number of pending request and you can actually specify zero as port number then port number will be allocated automatically and you can retrieve port number by calling get local port method third one is public server socket without any arguments throws io exception creates an unbound server socket we will see methods directly by an example so let's move to the program as you can see server socket resides in java.net package similarly for socket socket address inet socket address data input stream resides in java.io package similarly for print stream input stream output stream and io exception then server class public static void main some of the constructors and methods of server socket might throw io exception so all the statements of server socket are enclosed in try block followed by one catch block this catch will catch io exception and this is the first way to create server socket object 1300 is a port that listens for incoming request then second way in this way we specified backlog means maximum two pending requests are allowed let's comment it out this statement and move forward examine this statement it is similar to second one except port number here we specified 0 as port number instead of 1300 so that java will automatically takes port that is free and we can retrieve that port by calling get local port method of server socket here you can see then third way of creating server socket is here it is an unbounded way as you can see we haven't specified any port details and to specify those details we need some function and that function is bind but bind requires one argument of socket address now the question comes in mind what is socket address and how we can create object of socket address socket address doesn't provide any protocol implementation and it relies on its subclasses to provide those details and one of its subclass is inet socket address an argument is localhost host name and 1300 port number and we passed that socket address object in bind method this line simply prints local port of the server as we have discussed then a simple string message waiting for the request indicating that server is waiting for the client request to come in over the network then sets or timeout it is used to specify how much time server will wait for the client it is specified in millisecond in our case it is 5 second syntax is like public void sets or timeout integer timeout throws socket exception oh wait a minute 
we haven't handled socket exception okay now that is correct then another method except it remains in blocked state until some client makes a connection request syntax is public socket except throws io exception and we already handled the io exception except method returns object of socket class using this socket class we can read and write from the socket then a simple string message request accepted indicating that request is accepted and connection is established now in order to read from the socket get input stream is the method it returns an object of input stream we passed it to data input stream and converted it to data input stream because data input stream makes reading easy similarly for output stream get output stream is the method that returns output stream object we passed it to print stream constructor and converted it to print stream print stream makes writing easy then a simple echoing program what client sends us we send back to client read line is the method of data input stream which reads one line from the socket and returns as string then printer and sends this string back to the client then close method of socket class closes the socket close method of server socket closes the server socket then let's see what client sends to the server it sends hey there and inet address object local let us execute both of them to see whether output occurs according to our need or not java c server dot java it says cannot find symbol actually we forget to import socket exception socket exception resides in java.net package socket exception now let's try again an error comes socket exception has already been caught actually io exception is super class for socket exception so we will need to write socket exception before io exception now it should work now it gives one warning of deprecated api here read line of data input stream is deprecated you can check it out by using flag deprecation as you can see it says read line is deprecated in order to remove this we replace data input stream with buffered reader buffered reader buffered reader needs an object of input stream reader so we will need to convert input stream to input stream reader now let's import both both of them resides in java.io package buffered reader then input stream reader now let's try it compiled successfully now check for the connection let's compile client.java
again it says deprecated connection refused because of 5 second timeout let's again try again connection refused this time because of local host here we have to specify actual PC name now let's again try we will need to compile it then Java server now try connection is established successfully here you can see local machines information PC name and IP address clients local port and echoing effect similarly here you can see the port that is already taken by Java automatically 57173 in the next video we will see UDP sockets until then this is Vishnu Radhanpura signing off thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe us please press the bell icon for latest updates goodbye